all those pages and statuses and pictures you're liking on Facebook? Well, apparently that can tell us a lot about who you are. Like, really, a creepy lot. Hey everyone, I'm Lacey Green. Welcome to D News. Think about the things you've liked on Facebook. I've liked sociological images, Top Chef, Rachel Maddow, of course, D News, plus friend statuses about their lives, pictures, yada yada. So now using new algorithms developed by Cambridge and Microsoft using data from nearly 60,000 profiles, your Facebook likes can tell them all the things about you. Some of those things might be obvious. If I like Top Chef, I probably like cooking. If I like the No Hate campaign, I'm less likely to be straight. But some of the things that they're accurately predicting don't have anything to do with what I'm liking, at least not on the surface. For instance, they found that people who like Hello Kitty tend to be more open and less emotionally stable. They're able to predict with anywhere between 70 and 95% accuracy if I'm a black American or a white American, my sexual orientation, what my political views are, if I'm a Christian or a Muslim, even substance abuse issues, IQ, personality type, or whether or not my parents are divorced. The predictions are being formed based on large overarching patterns, like the fact that people whose parents are separated like more statuses where people are talking about their relationships. I mean, it's kind of weird, guys and yet I'm not really that surprised. The ability to collect info about you on the internet is only getting more accurate and more sophisticated. Google, for instance, is basically the omniscient, omnipotent, and omnipresent god of the internet. Google is watching you. And they know basically everything. They know what you're searching for, what pages you visit, your financial information, who you talk to, your interests, medical issues you have. They know where you live, what you wear, what you eat, all your dirty little secrets. The sheer amount of things that Google knows has an estimated worth of five grand per person. Dollars, baby. Dollars. This information about you is really valuable. I mean, think about it. One minute I'm searching for textbooks on Amazon, and the next I'm watching a 60 second pre roll advertisement on YouTube for a new website that offers textbook rentals. These new algorithms that are being developed by a Google or a Facebook offer some in demand abilities, like tailoring advertising to you, aggregating large amounts of data about specific groups of people, or even helping you find content that you really enjoy. So it's a magic power that can be used for good or evil, and the good is great. Hey, I definitely want to find cool shows and campaigns and blogs online, but I don't want companies to be able to use that same data against me. So that evil slash ethically questionable part of this type of research is spawning a larger conversation about privacy on the internet and how we basically don't have any. So guys, do you take any measures to protect your privacy online or are you of the screw it, it's out of my hands philosophy? Let me know in the comments down below and we'll see you tomorrow with more D News.